Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review of this light bulb, the Arcadia Jungle Dawn LED. So let's get straight into the video. So this bulb is marketed primarily as a plant growth bulb, but how good is it? Well, it doesn't have the old fashioned separate blue and red chips, which you'll see in a lot of the old fashioned plant growth bulbs. So it caters for the full visible spectrum. This is good because the separate blue and red chips, they sort of stemmed from the idea that plants don't use the green spectrum. That is why they reflect it and they look green. But this is sort of really old thinking because when you have those separate chips, you're not really catering for the full parts of the blue and red spectrum. So if you have a bulb that produces the full visible spectrum, and in sort of crisp light, then you're gonna get far better plant growth. As you can see here, this bulb has really caused my Neerogelia fireballs to blush. This is when a bromeliad starts turning pink or red instead of being green. It's well recorded with cryptanthus or earth stars, and it is seen in Neerogelias a lot, but this really, really has caused mine to blush. And you can also tell that these um, plants are incredibly close to this bulb, but it hasn't caused them to burn. UV lights, in my experience, depending on the type of plant, will cause plants to burn. Like um, the pothos and phytonia in this vivarium are right under the UV bulb and they do tend to burn. But this bulb is not burning the plants on this side of the vid. And to be honest, overall, the plants that are closest to this bulb are actually growing the fastest. So obviously, nobody wants to get a bulb if it's good for plant growth, but it's going to turn the tank a funny colour. That was the case with the old fashioned blue and red chipped LEDs, where they'd have separate beams of light and you could like see patches of purpley colours where those colours sort of mixed. With this bulb, however, it's rated 6,500 Kelvin, which basically means it's got the same colour temperature as the sun, which makes anything that's sort of in this beam of light look a really fantastic crisp colour, as opposed to being tinted. Now this bulb comes in three sizes, the 13 watt, which I have, the 15 watt, which is slightly larger, the 22 watt, which is almost a foot long, I think, and the 40 watt, which is not actually a long one, it's actually a spotlight. So as you can tell, there are plenty of different sizes to cater to your needs. Now this product comes in between £35 roughly for the 13 watt bulb and £70, I think, for the 40 watt bulb. Now you might think that is incredibly expensive, which it kind of is for a bulb, but these are LEDs, so when you get it, it's gonna basically last forever. And also, the stuff that you get with these bulbs, you just can't really get it with other bulbs. Other plant growth bulbs just don't seem to match up to the quality of this, so it really is worth the money. Now, the only sort of cons that I could find with this bulb are that it does produce a lot of heat. That isn't necessarily bad because most reptiles need heat in some form anyway. But the thing is with this is the unit doesn't like being in too hot conditions that can actually break it. So that means if you've got a mesh topped viv, you can't situate it in a canopy because otherwise it's going to end up sort of breaking itself. And that means you've got to rest it on top of the mesh. And so it sort of causes a depression in the mesh, which doesn't look too good if you notice it. It's not too big because the bulbs aren't that heavy, or at least mine isn't. If you had a bigger bulb, it might possibly press down too much and cause it to bend permanently. So that isn't too good. But basically, if they could come up with some sort of better holder for this, then that would sort of cure that issue. Of course, if you've got this in a wooden vivarium, then this isn't going to be any problem to you because you can just get a sort of bracket holder to attach it to the side of the viv. 
So overall, I think I would rate this bulb about four stars out of five because it's just, it makes your animals and plants, it shows them off in like perfect color and you just don't get that with any other bulb. Even UV bulbs are very, very close to this in the color temperature, but they're just not quite there. It also makes the plants blush really well in the case of the bromeliads and it has really good growth rates on the plants underneath it. So I really do rate this bulb. It's only if it had a better sort of holding system, then it would most certainly be five out of five. So yeah, I hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you, if you have vivariums or you're planning on getting them, then definitely give this bulb a look. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.